Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith of the Smiths in the Black here with the Strat Time Report and it's getting to that sleepy type of day, uh, time of day that we've seen uh, in this environment. So SPY still trying to take that two week down, but you don't want to overthink it because when you start looking at that monthly, it's pretty much doing nothing. Back and forth. Now it is weakening here. You can see that spikes up a little bit this morning and now backing off. So once you see that like a tight range like this, hopefully you get this top of the broadening formation, slight higher high, and now maybe come back through these guys. So potentially a three day if we want to come back all the way down through, but uh, follow through has been a little tough in this market, but uh, right now on the new 60, right, we're always taking every hour by hour, you can see on the new 60 starts to fade just a bit. If you go to QQQ here and just kind of st st stagnant, you know, a doji on the day and like so not too much going on and once again that weekly ish, doing nothing look at this monthly ish, Dow Jones diamonds and the Dow Jones diamonds all looking pretty similar but weakening into here once again rev strat week one two two to the downside so a little bit weaker still as the diamonds everything looking very similar after that spike up to bring them back in like I said when you have this tight range oftentimes they'll test that and then test these guys so hopefully we get a little bit of that coming into the afternoon small cappers and small cappers a little better so small cappers uh, still hanging a little but for the most part mixed bag because you got here green on the day right and then red on the week right nothing on the month right still so broader averages not really where you want to be so what i do in the morning is i tweet out the gap list and those are things that are moving that's something you want to know about all right so if you go to like sam so sam if you go down to a 30 minute so you'll hear me talk about staying on 30 and 60 minute gaps right and so if you see this here two down by gapping down another two down by just taking out the low, and then boom, here's your 2-2 reversal here. Over 519.24, right? It's at 534.85, still no lower low. And if you wanted to play it a little tighter, you could have dumped it on them right here in the 15er. 2-2, and then what we like to do is like because this is a reversal, two up, two down, you can dump a little bit extra on them, right? Go short and make a little bit so these two became an outside bar of that then you get a new 60 starting cover make a little bit more or you can just stay in and say here say here no, no lower low I'm just gonna keep holding this until there's a lower low on my 30 if you go to game stock you'll see this two down inside 212 reversal on the 60 that was above 186.63, not bad, 93, 193.751, uh, not bad because they stop them all out. All these guys get stopped out and then not weak enough to come back down, even though that weekly is in conflict, that monthly. Oftentimes when you have a gap, people ask me about, well, if it's red on the month and the week, would we take that to the upside? I'm like, yes, because if these sellers might have gotten cleaned up, that might that might have been it. Right, that all the guys who wanted to dump did dump down into here, and then the 60 and the daily override that right as it comes back up into the range. So we'll see if that sets up again. Uh, if we go to Moderna, and Moderna going to the highs as I speak, and you can see this here. This is an equal tick, so this is two down, equal tick, and then back up on the 60. If you go to how about a 15 or how's that looking down in here there you go you can see it's flat line and flat line and flat line and then it boom finally gets through there on an inside day to the upside full time frame continuity to the upside yep moderna still good uh, if we go to our klb for the apes redditors all over this thing and you can see this thing inside day to the upside and quite the move on a percentage basis new issue so we'll see if that sets up again going to the 60. Maybe you get yourself an inside 60 here at the bottom of the next hour. If we go to UPST. And this thing still going. And remember, we've known about this for a while too. Here, that 2-2 two, two month reversal and still good. Up here was in the video last night, Momo Hammer. Right? Anybody got short in here? Figured it was going to roll back down finally. 
boom, they all got caught right as soon as it took out the, that daily high. So now maybe an inside 60, a lot of things stalling out. What you do have here now is an inside 30 here, inside in the 30. So maybe measured move if you can take this out. 287.59. The problem is you don't, the magnitude is just to take this out, right? But you never know because uh, some of these things like to take off and keep on going. If we go to a little guy, Jivo. And Jivo, kicking day. Look at this. Stop them out, and then boom, gap up above this. Kicker. Off she goes. Inside week to the upside, looks like to me, and a 2 2 month reversal. Now inside on the 30. 3 1. So we'll see if we can get that going again here above 797. Is that 60 looking? Or get an inside 60. We'll see. Uh, if we go to Amba. And Amba starting to come in on that new 60. That's why we're always watching that new 60. And you can see this here the inside day, the slight lower low, rev strap. 1, 2, two these become an outside bar of that just going into the high so you got some exhaustion risk and that's what you're seeing on the 60 right here uh, LRCX right now going to the highs and in the semis and we've liked this on the short side because that two up two down but we have because it's still an inside month and because we've seen like lack of follow through completely and and almost everything every every day is like a new day going back and forth you'll see this two down on the day and then two up Right, that's a 2-2 reversal day here. We're 591.58. So far, still working to see if it can come up through all that kind of stuff. Uh, if we go to uh, starting to fade, so but we had like right in the beginning, we had financials. FAS come firing out on a two down, two up day, right? Trying to hammer for the week. Still inside month there, and now stock in the opening range here. But uh, we'll see if those come up. You had KRE. Regional banks a little stronger too, taking that stuff out. KIE insurance names now 60s up into here, all going 2 2. So we'll see if they get anything going. Like I said, it's that time of day when things just kind of dry up. And the insurance names you had like Aon here, two down day. You can see these tight ranges. Magnitude was to take these out, it did it. Uh, so we'll see if anything comes of that. And HIG. Now fading chubs. So you see a lot of these things go and then they fade and so that's this type of market we're in and that's why we're taking it hour by hour. Uh, if we go to American Express, how you doing buddy? Trying to hold up and then you get this midday chop shop but once again it's important that I'm going to show you what to look for. right? What's the rev strat Rob? It's an inside bar, pokes them down, stops them out. Here's my support level, stop, stop, stop and then Boom, right back through, one, two, three, hits magnitude as these two become an outside bar of that. If we go to Peloton, and Peloton having a nice little day coming off the lows, and as you can see here, because we know outside bars exist, once you poke down on this and start going bright green, we're looking to take this out and be an outside week, and that's going to be over. 105.23. You got a little bit more left on that, but the good thing about once you can get some winners going, sometimes they keep a going. If we go to RBLX and RBLX, once again, new 60, did its job outside day, stops them all out. So the question is can you stay above this here? This week, two down on the week, two up over. 86.74. So it's just backing off. You can see it's backing off right on that new 60. That's why you want to be watching those 60s like a hawk, right? As soon as it hits the bottom of the hour. If we go to DOCS, and DOCS, still an inside day, but you know, quite the range. Oh, no, there, there we go. Quite the range you got on something like this. You can see this is nice, 94 up to 103. That's what the things you want to look for, these things that have big enough ranges to try and find stuff to do in there. Looks like it was a little quick on that and a little grindy. But here's what you can look for here. Here was your lower low on the 15er. Right? Higher high, lower low, boom. You're in right here above 101.64 because these two are going to be coming outside bar of that. Right? Yes. And full time frame continuity to the upside. If we go to 
INMD. And INMD having a nice just exhaustion risk by going into the highs. So we'll see if that sets up and gives us another inside 60. But once again, on the daily, this is what you're looking for. Take out the high. Take out the low. Boom! These two become an outside bar of that. It's also called a Randy Jackson because here, <laughs> this is an inside bar. So this was technically rev strat to yesterday, but did not complete through here. Didn't take. It's turned it into a 2 2 2 continuation on the day. If we go to Airbnb. And Airbnb, once again, look, when you, once you go green coming up through here, we're looking for an outside bar, right, to go take out this high. 166.55 because we still have the inside weak to the upside, right? So we're looking to take this out, that 166.55, just a little bit more on that. Uh, if we go to CFLT, and CFLT, just exhaustion risk by going into the highs, so, but nice range here. So we'll see if that sets up again, maybe an inside 60 is a little quick on that how about a 15 or a little quick on that so we'll see now it's just kind of sitting up there we'll see in the next hour if we get the inside 60 if we go to uh, the EFRT nope. if we go to downside BIIB and BIIB having a rough one here and here you're gonna see this inside month break to the downside right and people ask me can i just take that monthly break or do i gotta wait for it to set up and no, you can take that as soon as it broke 325.09 and been sitting it was sitting in there yesterday did it yesterday you can see coming down bright red that's what we like now just kind of stair stepping its way down so we'll see if that sets up again for us to a lesser extent amgen inside day to the downside per the vid last night also that triggers the inside week to the downside full time frame continuity to the downside anytime that 60s red but like a lot of things new 60 now it's starting to just firm up a little bit follow through on a lot of these things have been a little tough uh, if we go to some more druggies in there johnny john coming down here too and that takes out the monthly shooter two up two down reversal below here 171.30 right and as of right now still going and that new 60 still getting sold on the daily we call this the momo shooter here stop out some shorts anybody trying to bottom pick this boom done and that triggers the month full time frame continuity to the downside when all time frames are red uh, if we go to lily peloton goes to the highs uh lily Let's see, Lily having a rough day here too, although firming up now on the new 60, but it has not triggered the month yet, but this is what would get my attention here if you can take this out too, 243.50, you're getting a little closer, so we can keep an eye on that, uh, depending on what's going on. If we go to NVAX, and NVAX now recovering a little bit, had a rough morning in here, just went two up, two down. But now it's starting to firm up a little bit inside 60, so we'll see if anything more comes of that. What's going on with BNTX here? Nothing. Okay, if we go to um, the transports, IYT, still an inside day, and we know that this has been a tight range and still an inside month. But you can see this price discovery starting over on the 60 here. Tight range, outside bar, boom, two up two down to come down and try and take these guys out so here's your price discovery in there because we know you know what if you look through there and having some conflict because at least to open the day these airlines came out gangbusters you know they they're kind of like energies they kind of fade but uh, you can see american airlines inside in the 60 united airlines here trying to go outside week by taking that out after the outside day also inside in the 60 and like i said we get a lot of that stall out in this environment and then still looking for that inside month so we'll see if those airlines can stay up because you got like union pack here and the rails still weak right and taking out that 
inside month to the downside. Uh, UPS also having some some trouble here just a tad, taking out last week's lows, coming back through all this kind of stuff. Uh, JB Hunt Trucker. And this is one of the things we look for, too, is like here the outside bar, then the inside bar. They're willing to pay up and sell down. Then they came back and met as an inside bar, and then boom, there was your real move. That can take care of business on the two up, two down week. So we'll see as the trannies are neutral there because of all that uh, conflict. But um, as you can tell, it's still it's a somewhat holiday week, if you will, still summer e, if you will. So uh, hour by hour, uh, as you can see, we're playing them as we see them. All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith, the Smith of the Black, with Strat Time Report.